hi loves welcome back to styles cultivated if you're a subscriber and if you're new hi i'm tracy and here at styles cultivated we talk about everyday fashion with a sprinkle of luxury we believe that style is something that has to be defined and redefined over time today i'm going to bring you five statement jeans for the spring i love a jean that makes a statement you know when you're wearing just a basic t-shirt and then you have that statement pair of jeans sneakers or sandals or combat boots it's a look it's iconic today I have a few of the jeans you've seen before I think I have one or two that are new and if that is something that you're very interested in then go ahead and keep watching first of all let's get into the outfit of the day i will be wearing this t-shirt and it says iconic look with the same taurus necklace in 1997 which is the year of my birth necklace for all pairs of jeans that i'll be styling up and showing you today because the star of the show the main event are the jeans and so um i'm currently wearing some white leg jeans from zara i will be doing another video stay tuned for styling white leg jeans for spring so when you're looking for a jean you want to make sure that you're picking the right rise for you be it high rise mid rise or low rise my personal preference is high rise jeans because I feel as though when you choose mid or low rise jean and you're tucking in your shirt it often leaves a bulk here which brings attention to the areas that you don't want attention to so when you wear a high rise jean it tends to smooth out that area also when I'm purchasing a pair of jeans I look at the pocket if the pocket pocket is too big it's gonna make your butt look flat if the pocket is small it will make your butt look rised up in most cases if the pockets are close together they seem to be more narrow and more slimming and when your pockets on your jeans are wider they make the appearance that things are wider the first pair of jeans that I will be styling are these I picked these up from an online boutique called pink mannequin and I got these from her boutique they are cuffed at the bottom they are distressed they have pockets in the back I will be pairing this item with a leather jacket and these old old combat boots from Zara for my next pair of jeans these are the 90s jeans from H&M which I featured in another video these are my absolute favorite jeans 90 jeans are back these are not really a low rise they're really more of a mid rise I usually wear these with like a crop top so you can see like just a little bit well not a high crop top like a moderate crop top you can see a little bit of skin and then I wear these I got from H&M I actually took and slit the bottom because I'm a short girl and I have short girl problems and sometimes I don't want to tailor my jeans for wearing sneakers because then when I want to wear heels they'll be too short for my liking so I just slit the bottom of them and you'll see these off styled up and those are the 90s H&M jeans and then my next jean which is a little bit of a dupe and I'm so super excited about these I picked these jeans up at Kohl's I was in Kohl's you know when you go to return your items for uh, Amazon you could go to Kohl's you can go to Whole Foods and I think you can do like an Amazon drop off okay I'm rambling I saw these at Kohl's I had no idea that they were a dupe for the Agodi pierced jeans that are like $238. Exactly. I mean like exact dupe for those jeans for 40 bucks. I picked these up in a size 5. I probably could have went down a size because they are a little loose and they are pretty stretchy. They do have a nice length but I'm short yet again so they seem very long to me. For my next pair of jeans I found these on sale at Nordstrom's and I thought these were oh my god a statement. Color blocking is really in and and I thought that these jeans were absolutely fabulous like look they got the dark wash black and we've got the blue on the other side they don't have any stretch in them so I did go up a size because I wanted them to be wider I'm gonna style them for you but I do have to send them to the tailor to get taken in at the waist they were on sale I want to say they were like $29 I can't remember exactly and then I have my last pair of jeans I've seen them over months first time I clicked on it I looked at it I'm like baby girl we is not buying them jeans I just don't like spend my money on clothing because like if it gets spilled or stained or like something happens and I gotta send it to Goodwill I'm mad I'm big mad but I kept seeing these jeans so I was like I'm gonna get them I'm gonna try them on 
I don't like them, I'm sitting back. Baby, the hype about these jeans are all that they are. For the curvy girl, which I'm not extremely curvy, but I do like like the way they fit. This is a 27. Do you see how it curves in and brings the hips out? I am a square shape. When I put these on, they make it look like I got something going on. Like I got a little hourglass, a little something, something, something. I was like, oh baby, we will be keeping these. Then they got the little statement cut out at the thigh. There is no stretch in these. You hear that? I would say get your normal size or size up and then get it taken in. They do have like a balloon shaping. They are long on me. I am not getting these tailored because when I wear my heels, I want them to be long enough. It need to be versatile for the cost. Like these, these need to be wear with heels, sneakers, sandals, slippers. That's what I'm talking about. But they are worth all the hype. These are the Margiela jeans. I hope that you like that the way that these items are styled. I had a great time making this video video for you t-shirt and jean is an iconic look like everybody wears t-shirts and jeans so this was a very exciting video for me what i'm gonna say is take it away morgie hey pyts that's the end of the video please like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos and if you don't have nothing nice to say don't say it at all